wondering, how do we gather data? There are several ways to obtain and analyze data. As a researcher, you can use the following, the survey, focus groups, interviews, or even questionnaires. Research methods are specific procedures in collecting and analyzing your data. Developing your research methods is an integral part of your research design. Hello, grade 7 students, and hello to all the students out there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tim May. Siyempre, ang kasama mo sa iyong research journey. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Research 1. our week 3, module 3 in research 1, quarter 3. And for today's lesson vlog, this is a continuation of our previous lesson vlog about week 3, module 3 of quarter 3, which is all about the data gathering. So last time, we discussed about the different levels of measurement scale and the different types of data. So for part 2, we're going to discuss about data gathering and we will discuss about the different techniques on how we gather data. Remember that when you are planning for your methods, there are key decisions that you will make. First, you will decide on how you're going to collect your data. Your method depends on what type of data you need to answer your question. So, meron kang tatlong kailang itanong sa sarili mo. First, is it qualitative or quantitative? Will your data take form of numbers or words? Second, is it primary or secondary? Will you collect original data yourself? Or will you use the data taken from someone else? Okay, kaya pag sinabing primary, ikaw mismo yung magko-collect ng data na yon. And when we say secondary, you're just going to get the data from other person because they already collected those data. And number three, is it descriptive or experimental? What does it mean? Will you take measurements of something as it is? Or will you perform an experiment? And the second decision that you have to do is to decide how you will analyze the data. Siyempre, bago mo i-analyze ang data, kailangan mo muna i-identify whether your research is a qualitative or quantitative research. For quantitative data, you can use stat statistical analysis methods to test the relationships between variables. And if you are dealing with qualitative data, you can use methods such as thematic analysis to interpret patterns and meanings in the data. So, kaya dapat alam mo kung ano bang klase ng research yung ginagawa mo. Is it quantitative or qualitative? And remember that pag sinabi natin quantitative, we are dealing with numbers. But when we say qualitative, we are dealing with words because we are dealing with descriptors and characteristics. Okay, before we proceed with the methods of collecting data, let us first define data. Kanina pa tayo data ng data, pero ano ba pag sinabi nating data? What is a data? When we say data, this is the information that you collect for the purposes of answering your research questions. And remember that the choice of the quantitative and the qualitative data collection depends on what type of knowledge you want to develop. Okay? Ngayon, pag-usapan natin, ano ba yung mga pros and cons when we are dealing with quantitative data and qualitative data? Now, let us talk about the pros and cons of quantitative and qualitative data. For qualitative data, this is very flexible where you can often adjust your methods as you go to develop new knowledge. can be conducted with small samples. But, it can't be analyzed statistically or generalized to broader populations, and it's difficult to standardize research. When it comes to quantitative data, quantitative data can be used to systematically describe large collections of things, and it generates reproducible knowledge, but 
it requires statistical training to analyze data and requires larger samples. Now, let us talk about the primary and the secondary data. Kanina binanggit natin na when you are deciding on how you collect the data, kailangan yung i-consider kung ito ba ay primary data or secondary data. Very obvious naman din sa word the primary and secondary. When we say primary data, these are the data that has, that has been collected by yourself. Ibig sabihin, ikaw talaga yung nakakuha ng no? mga data na yun, you as the researcher. For example, yung mga survey. Kasi di ba pag nag-survey ka, ikaw naman na researcher, ikaw talaga yung pumupunta or kumu nakikipag-usap sa mga respondents mo para kuhanin yung data na kailangan mo. Another example, by means of observations and experiments, especially sa mga science, simple science investigation or science experiments. As a researcher, ikaw talaga yung nag investigate ikaw talaga yung nag experiment at pag ikaw yung experiment syempre, makukuha mo na sarili mo yung mga data na kailangan mo and that is primary. Ibig sabihin, ikaw talaga sa iyo mismo nang galing. Okay, but when we say secondary, ibig sabihin yung data na yon kinuha mo na from other person. Ibig sabihin, may iba ng tao ang nangalap nung data na yon ang kailangan mo lang gawin ikuhanin mo siya from that person. Okay, again when we say secondary data, it is information that has been already collected by other researchers. Example yan, yung mga census. Okay? Or for example, yung number of enrollees na pwede mo namang makuha lang sa guidance. Kung baga, nakalap na yun ng mga, mga taga-guidance or yung mga kung sino man yung government employee na naka-assign dito sa census kunwari. So, that is an example of secondary. So, paano mo ba malalaman kung kailangan ay primary or secondary yung data mo? It if you are exploring a novel research questions, of course, you have to gather primary data. Dapat ikaw talaga. If you are investigating something, dapat ikaw yun. But, if you want to synthesize the existing knowledge or gusto mo lang naman mag-analyze ng mga historical trends, syempre, ang kailangan mong gawin ay kumuha ka lang ng mga secondary information or secondary data. Okay, let us discuss the different research methods. We have the experiment, survey, interview or focus group, observation, and of course, we also have the literature review. Okay, let's talk about experiment. Okay, experiment, is it primary or secondary? Very good. That is a primary data. Is it under quantitative or qualitative? Yes, very good. That is for quantitative. So, ano ba purpose kapag experiment ang, ginam ang ginamit nating data collection? Or methods of collection. Okay, when we are using experiment, okay, the purpose of this is to test the cause and effect relationship of the different variables you have in your study. Okay, at kalimitan ginagawa ang experiment kapag nag investigate tungkol sa sa science. Usually, ito yung mga experimental research, scientific research. Next, how about the survey? Survey Quantitative or qualitative? Very good. That is quantitative. Primary or secondary? Very good. That is primary. Okay, pag survey kasi, gumagamit tayo ng mga Likert scale. Yung Likert scale, ito yung may mga questionnaires na, for example, uh, i-check mo lang kung siya ba ay 4, 3, 2, 1, 4 being the highest. Example yan sa mga Jollibee. Pag pumunta sa Jollibee, sometimes may nagbibigay sa'yo ng survey form na kailangan mo lang sagutan yung tanong doon whether yung food ba nila ay okay or hindi, satisfied or not. So, merong level of satisfaction doon wherein 4 yung pinaka-highest and 1 being the lowest. And, and kailan, kailan ba ginagamit ang survey? So, we, we use survey to understand a general characteristic of a population. Questionnaires and surveys. So, responses can be analyzed with quantitative methods by assigning values to Likert scale or the Likert type scales. So, in questionnaire and surveys, results are generally easier than qualitative techniques to analyze. Pre-test and post-test can be compared and analyzed also. Next, we also have observation, another method of collection. Is it primary or secondary? Observation. 
very good. That is primary because ikaw talaga yung nag-observe doon sa something. Is it qualitative or quantitative? Okay, very good. It's either quantitative or qualitative. Pwede siya sa kahit anong type ng uh, data. Quali or quanti, okay lang. Pero kailan ba natin ginagamit ng observation? Okay, to understand how something occur in its natural setting. Kaya pwede siya, pwede siya sa quantitative or sa qualitative. When it comes to observations, it allows for the study of the dynamics of situation, frequency counts of target behaviors, or other behaviors as indicated by needs of the evaluation. So, sa observations, good source for providing additional information about a particular group can use video to provide documentation also. And this observation can produce qualitative, for example, narrative data. Okay, pag narrative data. And quantitative naman, for example, frequency counts, there is a mean length of interactions in instructional time. So, next, how about the interview or focus group? Interview and focus group, halos same lang din yan. Pinagkaiba lang kapag interview, sometimes it is one-on-one -on -one interview. But if it is focus group, usually nagtatanungan kayo in a group of people with the same characteristics. Okay, is it primary or secondary? Very good. That is primary. Qualitative, quantitative. That is qualitative. Okay, kailan ginagamit ang interview and focus group? To gain more in-depth understanding of a topic. So, kapag kailangan mo pa na mas, mas scrutinize yung tungkol dun sa tanong na to, so, kailangan natin ng interview or focus group. Interview. When we say interview, this can be conducted in person or over the phone. Interview can be done formally, it can be structured, semi-structured, or informally. And of course, when it comes to interview, questions should be more focused, clear, and encourage open-ended responses. And remember that interviews are mainly qualitative in nature. The reason why before you conduct the process of how you gather the data, you should be able to know whether your research, whether your research study is a qualitative or a quantitative. Surely, pag nag interview kayo, kailangan meron kayong gamit na gadget, Okay, recorder. Okay, o kaya naman ay video recorder or camera or cellphone kasi kailangan yung i-record yung napag-usapan ninyo. Kasi when it comes to qualitative research, so what you have interviewed, kailangan nyo siyang i-transcribe. Pag sinabing transcribe, isusulat nyo pa lahat na ng pag-usapan ninyo during the interview. Kasi by doing that, you have to, you have to scrutinize every detail that has been discussed during the interview kasi dun yung kukunin yung mga data na nag-gather din nyo para makapag-create kayo ng thematic diagram for a certain uh, topic. Next is focus group. Focus group, this is somehow uh, similar to interview. The only difference is that for the interview, usually one-on-one -on -one kapag interview. But when it comes to focus group, kailangan mo lang madami kayo, nag-interview nyo sila, but make sure na yung group of people na kasama dun sa focus group ay with similar characteristics or similar interests, which is related dun sa study na ginagawa mo. Okay, what do you mean by focus group? Focus group, it is a facilitated group interview with individuals that have something in common gathers information about combined perspectives and opinions and the responses are often coded into categories and analyzed thematically and we also have the literature review primary or secondary okay obviously that's secondary and it can either be quantitative or qualitative for the re literature review to situate your research in an existing body of work or to evaluate trends within a research topic. So usually kasi kapag literature review, mag magbabasa ka dyan ng mga previous researches and then sa mga re literature reviews sa chapter 2 nila, pwede ka makakalap ng iba't ibang data and syempre hindi naman yun galing sa'yo, no? kaya siya ay under ng secondary data kasi you get the information, you get the data 
from the other source or from the other person. And last, we have the ethnography's oral history and case study. When it comes to this technique, so it involves studying a single phenomenon, examines people in their natural setting, uses a combination of techniques such as observation, interview, and surveys, and ethnography is a more holistic approach to evaluation, and the researcher can have a confounding variable. This is the end of our lesson vlog about gathering data. I hope you learned something from this vlog. In our next lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about organizing data. We will know and we will learn about how to use the appropriate tables, charts, diagrams, line graphs, pictures to organize data. Okay, hanggang dito na lang. Sana may natutunan kayo. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Research One. Bye!